In the last 10 weeks, we traveled to four countries experiencing different landscapes, cultures, food and climate zones. We've seen a lot and we had so much fun. But seeing so many new places in a short amount of time left us feeling exhausted. And it was Christmas Eve in the bustling city of Hanoi where we decided we need a break. We booked a flight to Thailand where we started our journey around Asia in October. But this time we want to explore southern Thailand. There were almost no accommodations left for the turn of the year. But then we found this cute little Airbnb right next to the beach of Khao Lak. And so here we are. We initially planned to stay for one week, but once we saw this beautifully renovated Airbnb with views of the ocean, we knew that we had to extend our stay. So now we're staying two weeks instead of one. We even have a daily routine already that includes driving 5 miles to Kaolak Center to get a huge fresh smoothie. Can we get one banana coconut pineapple and one banana coconut mango please? That thing is so huge and it costs 60 baht with three fruits which is around $1.73 US and honestly Germany or America could never. This would cost at least like 10, 15 bucks. So we gotta take the opportunity and have one every single day. This one is banana, coconut and mango. Oh, it's so thick and so delicious. I love it, I love it. Especially since it's so hot outside. This is just perfect. We initially planned to have a beach day today, but it turns out we're a bit late to the party already since it's already 4.30 p.m. and the sun is about to hide behind the palm trees and the bushes but we still made it to one of the many many beaches here in Kaolak called Coconut Beach and we're gonna visit a night market as well today so we're quickly gonna dip into the ocean get a refreshing get a refreshing I don't know get a quick dip into the ocean and then see how much time we have left before the Sun finally sets We want to keep it real in our vlogs but we also don't want to complain too much because nobody likes bad vibes but we're honestly a bit underwhelmed by this market here in Kaolak because we've seen such great street food markets in Thailand already Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai and especially Bangkok shameless plug check out our YouTube video of the Thai street food tour from Bangkok up here uh, yeah there's not too much to see on this market right here there's many tourist souvenir shops with shirts with some stupid sayings on them but there's two things that you can always count on whatever market you visit in Thailand and that is Pad Thai and mango sticky rice so obviously we got both of these things but yeah if you want to catch the real Thai street food vibe want to see some really nice markets my advice is go visit the northern part of Thailand or Bangkok and it's also going to be a bit cheaper up there as well so that's a bonus oh thank you Equally delicious though. So today we drove for 60 kilometers on our scooter to the nearest bank in Kaolak to get our final payment done 
for our drone registration, drone permit here in Thailand. And now we finally have it after months of applying and waiting and flow. He couldn't wait. He already took the drone and now he's up in the sky. First flight here in Thailand because we wanted to make sure we have all the necessary permits because otherwise you might end up in Thai prison which is something you probably don't want. And you actually need two permits and a Thai drone insurance as well. I always get this drone flying anxiety. I'm always so nervous to crash it so I really hope I don't on my first flight here in Thailand. Well yeah, it's a hassle to get your drone permits in place but we finally have them so it's time to fly baby Did you like the view? Khao Lak is such a beautiful place here in Thailand. We can highly recommend staying here, whether you are searching for a nice place for your holidays or you're also on a world trip. It is so good to be here and I can't get enough of this balcony view from our accommodation. Yay, our package arrived. We ordered something a few days ago from Decathlon from Phuket to Kaolak because we needed two dry bags for our next travel destinations here in Thailand but also in another country or countries that we're going to soon. How do you like it guys? Bright and yellow. They are heavy but I love the color. Oh and huge! We for sure gonna fit it all our camera gear <laughs> in there. And me. <laughs> Today we wanted to explore the area a bit more, so we drove to White Sand Beach in Kaulak. But when we arrived, we found out that it's just next to Coconut Beach, which is over there. So now we walked a bit to our right side and we found this piece of beach with almost no people. So now Flo is flying the drone to show you guys how this place looks from up above. And what's really cool here is that there's so many spots with shade from the trees above. So if you're pale like us, that's just perfect. And I feel like this beach is going on forever. People keep walking by in both directions. It feels really secluded. You can get your own little space where you can lay down. Nobody else around us for at least 20, 30 meters. Super chill, super relaxed. And that in high season. And that in high season. And I'm also very hot, so I'm gonna go for a swim now. Okay guys, today's laundry day and we always go to Ottery Laundry. You can find it everywhere in Thailand and we're going to show you how we're doing it or how you can do it. We prefer self-wash laundries. Coin laundries. Coin laundries because we like to take care of our clothes, what gets in the dryer. Okay, but first you need some coins. This one here is 40 baht. Don't put too much because sometimes you get these Ottery coins that you can't use anywhere else. Okay, we also need some detergent that you can buy here for 5 baht. We always put two per machine and two more because we're doing two loads, white and black. Wow. And then we're good to go. Some of our stuff can also go in the dryer and it runs you about 40 baht for 30 something minutes. 
instead of just sitting around and waiting for the machines to be ready, we get some work done. Unfortunately, in this ordinary laundry, there's no power outlets for some reason. Uh, so yeah, we always charge our laptops and then we come here, work until they're empty pretty much. So we make good use of the one hour waiting time. Our stay here in Kaolak is unfortunately coming to an end. We've only got three nights left, so we wanted to take this opportunity before it's too late to show you our favorite dinner spot here, where we've been basically going every night unless there was the night market where we had pad thai and sticky rice. And it's called Nana on the beach, and that includes walking there on the beach. And the coolest part about that is that we can go to dinner barefoot from our accommodation and then walking along the beach to the place called Nana on the beach because it's basically on the beach with the sun going down in the background. How cool is that? As Flo already said, we've been there almost every evening um, and we're quite happy with the meals. Not all of them because some portions were extremely small but we figured out what to order. But today I'm gonna try a new dish or oh, we're gonna try it that we never tried before and it's very famous here in Thailand called papaya salad. So that's the first, let's go. Let's go. Here we have papaya salad. Not too sure what of this actually is the papaya. Isabel said it's those white or green stripes. Green papaya, I think. Mm. I wonder what the dressing tastes like. Ooh, spicy. Why is it spicy? The papaya is very hard, so it's definitely like like an unripe papaya. It's actually really good, but I don't know how to describe it. Today we also went to the supermarket to get some stuff and we also wanted to buy a beer but we weren't allowed to buy it because it was 2.30 p.m. and between 2 and 5 p.m. Stores in Thailand are not allowed to sell any alcohol because of a weird law from the 1970s where they wanted to prevent workers from drinking during their shift so they wouldn't be productive anymore. So now after dinner we are on our way to a small shop here in Kaolak where we are staying to get a bottle of Chang. Uh, but it's basically in the center. And as I told you earlier, I'm barefoot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, should have brought my shoes. But I didn't know we were gonna go and get a beer. I so got now. my shoes. Good for you. <laughs> And while we're at it, why not get an ice cream too? And now, good night. <laughs> <laughs> 